So I have a question directed to, uh, to, to Florence and, and Baptiste. Uh, so uh, what's really crucial in the, in the matching estimator uh, that you implement for the, for, the causal, for the causal inference that you want to draw is to be sure that you include the parameters that uh, un the potentially, unobserved, potentially unobserved parameters that would guide uh, on, on the one hand the propensity to save on the other hand, the propensity to remit uh, potentially also. So I was uh, so so you don't have a lot of uh, observable variables to control for. So, but I was wondering to uh, to which extent you could include uh, 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 observable for migra I, I, for migratory migratory status. Uh, I, I, I could not uh, really understand how, how uh, well. To which extent the sample that you have is uh, is uh, a selected sample already that would make that uh, uh, even the people that you take outside of the orange users are are already a bit comparable in terms of uh, migration uh, or or not. Uh, but I guess that uh, well the position in the well whether they, they are migrant migrants or or not would, uh, would strongly influ influence the propensity to re remit. Uh, family structure, if you, <laughs> if you think of uh, the contribution of Marie, uh, probably the family structure and the extent, uh, well, the, and the magnitude of the safe ship uh, could, could also uh, be a variable that would be interesting to control for. And I could not, well, what's striking in your propensity score estimation is that it seems that the, the orange users are poorer uh, than the rest of your uh, the, 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 the rest of your sample, so it's a bit uh, it's a bit disturbing. Uh, so so is it the case that Orange uh, specifically uh, uh, focused on uh, on the poorest uh, populations, or uh, or else is it the case that you are here capturing the fact that you have people who are migrants who have individualized earnings and and when you have uh, so perhaps also the extent to which earnings of the indivi uh, are individualized or not uh, could, uh, could also influence the propensity to use the money to transfer to, uh, to others. So, uh, so, so I, I think uh, uh, so, so there are many, many other variables you could think of, but, but I think that uh, those, those ones could be, could be important. Serena? Uh, so I have a question for Florence and one for Marie. Um, so for Florence, I, I wasn't entirely sure because um, I think from the presentation it came out that there was nothing on deposits. So the rate of deposit isn't increased, but then in the end you discussed that this may be related to precautionary savings in some way. So I was just wondering if you could kind of go deep, because I'm working on something similar. So if you could go deeper into the precautionary savings motive, just because it wasn't clear. Um, and then on the, the remittances, uh, you said that you haven't found anything on the sum transferred, but just on the frequency, correct? Yeah. So have you tried perhaps and divide the sample in terms of the, well, the, the terciles or whatever of, of the income distribution to see if it's the poorer they receive more frequently because they may, there may be uh, an issue of them having an urgency to uh, to get because if it, if it's not the sum but just the frequency then that may be something, um, yeah, and then so for Marie it was just something on uh, the endogeneity is you know the the number of siblings is, is fine I, I can understand it, um, but the social mobility measure. I was wondering on what grounds do you think that that's not endogenous to the amount of savings? And yeah, that's it. Yes, Han, and then Mikhail. Uh, just a quick, uh, oh, Han from uh, UNU Wider. Uh, I just wanted to uh, add on to that point about uh, uh, the nature of uh, the, uh, the remittances uh, in terms of who the, um, the, 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 the you know, the, the group, the treatment group is because if you just anecdotally, if you look at who's remitting money, it's the foreign workers standing outside a, a remittance company on their payday. Um, and I believe you have that in your data, uh, uh, whether or not the uh, respondent is a native of the city, that I think could be a proxy 
uh, for whether or not um, it, uh, it's a migrant or a native. Um, so I thought um, that was what um, uh, I, I was thinking about as you were presenting as well. Mm -hmm. The nature of the remittances, uh, it's, it's almost as important as the sum that's remitted and the frequency. Thanks. Michael? It's on the paper by uh, Florence. Uh, yeah, I wonder if the selection effects are potentially so strong here. I mean, because even I mean, how you construct your comparison, that you say, OK, we compare those uh, who have recently made use of it to those who have not made use of it. So, well, of course, it's not at all surprising to see that they use it more frequently and that they may even save a bit more. Also, that's not really what you find. But, I mean, what can we really draw from this and say, can you say a bit more maybe how others are saving? So if you say this seems to be cheaper, lower transaction costs, so they can also use it more frequently. But, I mean, I, I try to compare it with other interventions and you can think of, I don't know, you distribute malaria bed nets and then you look at usage, but you know, given that you have this exogenous distribution, then there's really the question, is it is there an uptake? But here this question of uptake isn't really there because it's so actively they decided to use it, so I, I wonder a bit how far you can push the conclusion you can draw. Thank you. Thank you for all these questions. Uh, I'm going to try to answer you with my poor English. I'm very sorry. Um, um, about uh, Denis' question, you're right, um, we, we made a choice, uh, we know that to, to match people we, uh, we, we, can, uh, we can choose to, to take into account observable characteristics or unobservable uh, using after instrumental variables methodology. Well, we, um, we thought that, it wa we thought that uh, between our two, two groups of population, there were um, enough differences, observable differences, to, to, to implement the matching methodology. We, um, we implement at the end of the paper uh, Wilcoxon ranking test, um, which confirmed that um, about the number of remittances sent and received, our estimation were robust. So we, we, um, we, we agree that with the fact that uh, it's possible that our two subpopulations present uh, differences in terms of unobservable characteristics, but uh, to our knowledge, it isn't possible to correct at the same time uh, both differences, so we, we made this choice with uh, its limits. Um, we, you, you're right, too, you, we have um, a few um, vector of significant um, uh, variables in our est probit estimation. Uh, but uh, um, we, we think it, it's uh, sufficient because uh, when, we, when we implement balancing tests and other, other tests about um, quality of our matching process, the results are quite good. So, so we think that um, um, these, these, these variables are enough. About migration, I haven't uh, with me the, the, the questionnaire, but uh, unfortunately, I think that we, have, we haven't any question. We know where people are born in Tananariv or outside, but we don't know if it's uh, in a foreign country or in Madagascar. So we can't control by the, um, the, the, by the migrations. Um, it's true that uh, things will be different it, it, if we have many, many migra migrants in our population and in our arranged money users. But remember that uh, when, we, when we implement our survey, arranged money um, um, did not permit to, to make um, international remittances. So my, if we have my migrants, they can't use these mobile banking services to... to ah, yes, they can, yes. But we control by the place of birth, which is a, a, a significant variable in the estimation to be an arranged money user. Okay? 
doesn't tell if there were guy or something. No, but we don't know. We don't know. Yes, we don't know why he is coming in Tan Arriva. Uh, why Orange Money uh, users are poorer than uh, non-users? Uh, we agree it's a, it's a result uh, a, a bit strange, but we explain it by the fact that we have um, a population uh, composed. Uh, of only orange customers. And in Tananariv, orange customers are more educated and richer than the rest of the population. So we think that the richest of our orange customers uh, have yet access to uh, multiple uh, sort of, um, of um, banks or, uh, or financial services, but the poorest of the orange customers uh, don't have this access, so choose to, um, to, to subscribe to these services. Uh, about uh, precautionary savings, I don't remember who asked me this question. Uh, it's a great idea, divided the, the distribution to see if uh, it's just the poorer we receive remittances. Uh, but we have a, a, a short sample, so I don't know if um, statistically it, it would be, it will be possible. We we, we can try to to, uh, to 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 make this division. I'm not sure to have to taken the good notes. Um, ah, yes, I had sorry, I had a question um, about. Um, why I say what I why I say that uh, um, orange money users make more precautionary savings because we have a question in our survey uh, which which is uh, uh, which service uh, you use the most and this service is the deposit service people uh, make deposits on their uh, orange money account. So we can think that this service is um, without interest. It isn't saving with interest, but it's a, a, a kind of precautionary savings. We can think that people put money in their orange money account to keep it uh, in, in case of uh, shocks. No. No, we, we assume. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, about the ah, uh, I think it was Michel. About the nature of remittances, you ask me something. No. <laughs> Who is the treatment group? <laughs> it isn't a question. <laughs> I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> then you have You want to complete? <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, that's it. No, I remember. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, thank you, Sarah, for your question. So uh, I agree that. Uh, so I'm not paying any causal uh, impact here. Uh, that's what I said at the end. And uh, so, through the number of siblings, is exogenous to the decision of say, uh, to save and transfer. Uh, for uh, social mobility, I would argue that um, it's since I compare formal workers with fathers that are that were father, uh, farmer or non-farmer, it, it's. Uh, the, I'm looking at the difference of the coefficient between uh, one with both are work, uh, former workers and one as a father with father, a farmer and not. And so I'm not saying that uh, the coefficient should really be taken as granted, but still we still find that uh, switching signs. So for one it's really negative and for the other it's uh, really positive. And um, if social mobility should uh, bias uh, the estimate, I would say that people who experience social mobility should even more safe because they have less inheritance uh, than others, and uh, which so they should be even more saving while we find negative effects. So I don't know if it answers your question. Yeah. 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 Ye
Given that you look at these immediate outcomes, like making use of it, saving more, making more transfers, it is in fact very close to the process of the stacker, which is the notion. So maybe to make it a bit more interesting, we should go a bit further and to look at other outcomes. That's maybe less obvious that we may see a difference. I mean, so you really Well, I mean, you can think of because they save more often, do they have higher investment or more um, spending on education? Or that you have going a bit yes, further on the causal chain. If you stop there, yeah, you, yeah, you make use of it because you want to transfer. You know? And I think this selection anyway, you can't really you know, add more. It's very, I think it will always be hard to sell it in the moment. Okay, what does it really tell you? But if you could go a bit further and show some of these other impacts, then this becomes also a bit less a problem, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Just, just let me add to uh, that. I choose two things. Uh, first of all, we intend to make another round with the same population. And remember that the uh, arrangement services were deployed in September 2010, and we made the survey only two days after. So in our mind, it was just in our mind, we think that well, it's quite simple to use the transfer service because it is cheaper, because it's, uh, it, it is safer, and well, because it is also anonymous. Okay? So you may send money and so on. But we think that to change deeply your financial behavior, if you focus on sales, if you focus on some of the remittances, you need that. Need to have perhaps more confidence into the system, something like that, something like a learning learning process. This is why we call this paper learning to work before you learn. You need to, 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 you need to learn to, and to trust you have more confidence into the system. That's your right. But the, the problem is that you, you need to, to have another one just to, to have perhaps more variables and so on. Uh, we have many, many people tested and we Make lots of different estimations to very different variables, cross variables, and so on. And this is the best estimations. Thank you, Baptiste. Um, we can no, no, we can continue the conversation after. Uh, we have the final panel in ten minutes, so we invite you to attend. And thank you very much for the presenters and for you to, to come to the session. Thanks.